Hey Capricorn, it is me, Alex, and I'm here to bring you your bonus reading. I hope you guys are doing good. Let's see what the universe has. Uh-oh. Four of Cups, Nine of Cups, Nine of Wands, Seven of Swords, Wheel of Fortune, and the King of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles. This to me kind of feels like a situation where it's a little lopsided slash unrequited. Somebody is not, this feels like you Capricorn, like you're not noticing the love that's around you. You know, the people in your life who love you, who rock with you, who want the best for you. And it could be right now because you are hurt, hurt or wounded. Um, maybe overly guarded where you are having trouble letting letting the love in or allowing the love in. I have a nine here and a nine here, right? To me, that kind of feels like something has to give. Um, nine of wands is being overly protective of any sort of hurt and or pain and possibly even deceit. But the problem is if you are guarding yourself against it, you automatically become a prisoner of it. So to an extent, you may think you are guarding yourself and keeping out the deceit, but you're deceiving yourself in thinking that you can keep it out. Ooh, mic drop. That was, that was quick. Uh, Wheel of Fortune, turning, right? Karma, destiny, changing. You know, queen, uh, uh, King of Swords is making a, a decision, you know, um, about working maybe on yourself working on your heart, working on your heart, possibly even healing once and for all is what I'm hearing. Well, there we go. Four of cups, five of pentacles, four of swords. What I just heard is you can't hide forever from love. Capricorn is like, the, the hell I can't. <laughs> I gotta go. Um, four of cups with the empress. Oh, Angel said things are barren around you. I really feel like your heart is not in a lot of things. And I really want to say it's because you spend so much of your time, energy, and effort remaining guarded and closed off. There could be some of you who suffer from uh, codependency. Because as soon as I saw the Nine of Cups, I'm like, wait a minute, but there's love available. You don't feel it. Um, angels are saying too, oh, there's your mom, right? If if you are resonating with this so far, you get it from your mama. Mm -hmm. Maybe your mother was not too emotional, nurturing, you know, touchy-feely, affectionate. So you didn't learn that part. And now you're having all of these relationships that are coming and going. And you're like, well, damn, am I the problem? And the universe is like, yup. <laughs> um, nine of wands and four of cups um, you have trouble letting love in uh, angels are saying for most of you you enter into relationships with an inactive heart um, not only that but you tend to talk yourselves out of situations and relationships deceiving um, and knight of swords just kind of like having those deep and honest conversations Angels also said too, uh, being called out on as soon as it's almost like as soon as maybe somebody starts to realize who you are, or how you are, you dip, you end the relationship. Uh, the night of, excuse me, the wheel of fortune and the four swords. <sighs> I feel like some of you have very little to look forward to. But I feel like when it comes to your career, you're a fucking rock star. How is that possible? Because look at the table. We got nine, nine, which is eight, which is walking away. And then we have the nine of cups being happy on your own and being happy alone. Now, here's the conundrum, right? The, the destiny card uh, for many of you, especially if you're codependent, you hold on to your partners and mates. 
but you hold on to them with this void because you can't really feel all of the love they're giving you. So on one hand, it's almost like you don't want to be alone, but then on the other hand, you're already alone emotionally. Okay. That one needed a big ass pause. And the two of swords with the eight of pentacles, I don't know if you knew this about yourself, right? Um, another way I could say all of this, some of you may have a hard time receiving love. You have a hard time allowing people to love you. It makes you incredibly uncomfortable. It makes you defensive. You may get suspicious thinking that they're up to something. And I feel like with the Wheel of Fortune and the Knight, the King of so Swords, I keep wanting to call him the Knight of Swords, but with the King of Swords, I feel like it's finally time for you to do something about it. Maybe go to therapy, maybe start to unpack, you know, some of those layers, peel back some, some of those layers and discover and explore what you've been keeping from yourself or denying yourself for so long. With this uh, High Priestess card sitting there, yeah, there is some sort of association with Mother. Um, Angels are also saying too, the reverse is true. So say you were smothered with by your mom, your maternal mother, right? Bi biological mother. Say you were smothered by them. Well, guess what? You receive so much love from them that you can't, you don't know what it's like to experience love for anybody else. Or maybe somebody has to compete with your mom to get to love you. I'm just saying it's just God's two of wands separation trying to pick a path forward i'm hearing yeah you can't go another two years two weeks two months like this no whatever this is capricorn i feel like you've been denying yourself of for so many years yeah i kind of feel like the universe is saying hey it's time it's time to work on it it's time to uncover it Seven of Pentacles, you have been trying. You've been trying to rack your brain. Perhaps you thought it was because you grew up poor or you didn't have enough or you didn't have this, right? In other words, you could see and identify the source, but maybe you couldn't figure out how to fix it. Mm. Knight of Swords. Oh, angels are saying somebody could have called you out on this as part of an argument, right? And I feel like somebody called you out. You had an argument maybe with someone and some choice words were spoken. Y'all ever notice people are real honest when they're angry? Mm -hmm. They sure are. And the Knight of Swords is rushing in to talk about it. Rushing into, I'm trying to get through to you. I'm trying to love you, Don. Why won't you let me love you? Well, I don't know how to receive love, right? <laughs> That's what this kind that this placement feels like. There was some sort of discussion that brought this to surf to the surface. There's a wheel of fortune again. It's time to change. It's time to move on from this old way. Move on from the past. The old, all therapy. I don't care. I don't care who you get it from. Whether it's your best friend, whether it's your uncle Ted, whether it's you know your barber or a fully licensed psych psychologist. It all starts with talking, okay? Talking and depending on who you're talking to, they will assist you with connecting the dots. Page of Cups, Love Offer, Two of Swords. So you just met somebody new and they brought this to the, to the surface. I got it. Knight of Pentacles, yeah. It's almost like you're working on releasing the blinder and releasing the swords. And that King of Swords is honest as hell and blunt. King of Swords ain't got no problem hurting your feelings with the truth. Okay? And I feel like with that, he, he or she, them, they, they cut deep. Right? Metaphorically, um, psychologically, they cut deep. But I feel like they got to the core of maybe what's causing issues in your loving relationships right whether they are loving in an intimate relationship with friends with your children you know some of you especially with the four of cups in in both positions 
you may have challenges feeling emotionally connected to people. And again, I'm not going to use the word blame your mother, but it's because of mama. You know, our parents train us, right? Not just in what they tell us, but also in how they are. So if you were raised by somebody who is pretty stoic, who didn't express emotions, then you are going to do one or two things. Either you're going to be overly emotional, right? And spend your life trying to pull emotions out of an emotionally unavailable person, or you're going to become stoic as well. And then you will attract somebody who will continuously try to pull emotions out of you. Okay. Choose a new direction. Hot diggity schmiggity. That kind of says to me that uh, there is some sort of aha moment or revelations going on where you're discovering, you know, what's going on internally. Ooh, yay, recovery. Recovery is just that. Uh, if there's a problem, well, let's find a solution. Don't stop, keep going until you're fully healed is what I heard. Wait, what is wait? There's something better, okay, okay. I feel like there's something better means there's something more. In other words, that keep going, keep peeling back the layers, keep revealing things that you might not have known. You're discovering, you're learning, you're exploring about these deep rooted emotional issues and the universe is like, keep going, keep going, keep going, continue to work on yourself. Now, especially as a healer, I will tell you, we're healing all of our lives. There will not be a moment in this universe or in this lifetime where you will be fully healed. And the reason for that is as part of the human condition, life is about taking the good with the bad. You know what I mean? Some bad things will, will you know, sink in emotionally deep. Some things not so much. We'll be traumatized and we'll have to untraumatize. We'll love and then we'll get heartbroken, right? This lifetime to me is all about balance, right? Going from trauma to victory to failure to success, right? It's all about opposites and opposing energies and we as humans in how to balance that out. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and leave it there, Capricorn. If the reading does resonate, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. I love you. Bye.